Good morning! Umaga na ulit and we are now on our second day at ito mas mas maganda yung pupuntahan namin ngayon dahil pupunta kami sa uh, dun sa mountains ng Kasbegi Malayo siya around uh, I think 3 hours yung biyahe from here Breakfast muna tayo Ang sarap ng breakfast namin Perfect yung pagkakaluto ng itlog. Hindi namin alam yung tawag pero masarap din tong isang to. Ano ba ito? Parang cheese na may meat na? No? Cheese to run. Cheese to run. Georgian ano salad. Amer American breakfast ba ito? Ito Georgian salad. Ah, Georgian salad. Kamatis tsaka pipino. And yes! And papunta na kami sa Kasbegi. Ready na. And... Kabay na kami ni Lord. Protection sa aming biyahe. Kasi, oh, three hours ang biyahe dyan. See you there! Nandito kami ngayon sa Good Dowry. Good Dowry! Bangin bangin! Bangin na bangin! <laughs> nung pumunta dito pero sulit yung pag-stop namin kasi parang late na kami dun sa pumunta namin pero sulit, sulit yung experience dito na kami sa location tignan mo nga naman yan wow Praise God, nakarating kami ng safe and mga ilang, ilang hours yun, more than 3 hours no, kasi na nag-stop pa kami sa Budauri, rest muna kami, enjoy lang namin yung, yung stay namin dito. Bukas ng umaga, doon kami pupunta sa Gargeti Church, yun, yung, yung church na yun. Maliit siya, hindi siya masyado makita. Hindi nga siya kita dito, yung church. 
Sorry po, nahulog ko po ang isang anti filter. I love baby, sorry. <laughs> Saan mo hinanap? Dito hinanap ko pa eh. <laughs> Search and rescue operation. Ay, kulay itim pa man din. Bandang kanan, baby. Saan? D dito? Oo. Dito? Oo, oh, dito. Ayan. Ayan. Ayan dyan. Nakita ko kung paano siya nahulog dito. Hindi ko maapakan. <laughs> One eternity later. And yes, parang nakikita ko na. Ayun, 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 ayun. Ayun. At baka late lang kasi, oh. Ayun. Hello, sorry na talaga. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, good morning! And it's another day. Ayan, trick na trick na yung araw pero sobra pa rin lamig. Hindi kami makatambay sa labas. Hindi kasi namin expect na ganito kalamig kaya hindi kami nakapagdala ng mga jacket. Kasi akala namin pag summer dito is hindi na kailangan ng jacket. Eh dito pala sa area ng Kasbegi, Bundok, ba? Diba? Pag mataas is malamig. Ayan, ito yung attic. So dito lang kami sa kubo. Nag-stay lang kami dito magdamag kasi nga sobrang lamig sa labas. <laughs> okay, oh, talaga. Malakas pa yung hangin. Sinabahan pa ng lakas ng hangin. And for today's Food for Your Soul, gusto kong simulan sa isang paradox story. Merong isang matandang bulag na sumakay sa isang bus. Pagkatapos meron namang isang lalaki na nagpaupo sa kanya. Sa palagay nyo, Okay ba yung ginawa ng lalaki? Siyempre, alam ko yung iniisip nyo. At ako, isipin ko rin yun. Na mabuting ginawa ng lalaki. Pero, actually, hindi mabuting ginawa ng lalaki. Kasi, siya yung driver ng bus. ba? Diba? Minsan nakala natin, tama tayo. Minsan nakala natin, alam natin yung full story. Alam natin yung katotohanan. Pero, hanggat hindi natin nalalaman yung buong katotohanan, mali pala tayo. This might be uncomfortable for a few minutes, pero please bear with me. Please tapusin niyo yung sasabihin ko kasi sa dulo meron naman tong good news. Do you know how many people die every day? Actually, there is about 160 plus K deaths per day. And this is the common thing sa atin. Lahat tayo mamamatay, but we don't know when. So this is the question for you. After this life, after nating mamatay, alam mo ba kung saan ka pupunta? Alam nyo, hindi ko na-realize na nagbabala ang Biblia na sa bawat walang kabuluhang salita na sinabi ko ay pananagutan ko sa araw ng paghuhukom. And akala ko as long as naniniwala ako sa Diyos, as long as uh, namuhay ako ng marangal at mabuti, ay mapupunta ako sa langit kapag namatay ako. And nagkakamali ako. I was so wrong. Sabi nga ni Jesus, tumingin lang ako sa babae na may mahalay na pagnanasa ay nangangalun niya na ako sa kanya sa aking puso. And wala akong magagawa sa sarili ko para hugasan ang aking mga kasalanan. And I knew that if God would judge me by the Ten Commandments, I would end up guilty and would go to hell. Let me read this verse for you. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Sabi pa nga sa Bible, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Maybe you're thinking right now, I'm not perfect, I'm just a human, and God will forgive me. That is actually breaking the second commandment. When you are shaping an image of God that is only acceptable for you. Tama ka. You are not perfect. That's why we need a savior. 
death is actually the evidence that God hates sin. Diba? Sabi sa Bible, the wages of sin is death. At ginawa ng Diyos na kabayaran ang kamatayan sa kasalanan. Alam natin na God is love and God is forgiving. But the Bible also says that God is just and holy. He will by no means leave the guilty unpunished. Ano yung ginawa ni God para sa mga guilty sinners so they would not end up in hell? Actually, alam natin lahat to eh, pero maybe we don't understand it. Jesus died on the cross. Ibig sabihin, you and I broke the law. You and I broke the Ten Commandments and Jesus paid the fine. That's why He said on the cross, it is finished. Ibig sabihin, the debt has been paid. If you are in a court and someone pays your fine, even though you are guilty, you can walk because someone already paid your fine. God can let you live forever even though you are guilty because of what Jesus did on the cross of His death and resurrection. But we have to do two things. First is to repent. Second is to trust the Savior. Alam mo, the moment when you trust in your goodness to save you on Judgment Day, para kang nasa dulo ng aeroplano, 10,000 feet up, and this is your plan. You're gonna flop your arms and try to save yourself. Alam mo, that's not gonna work. Don't do that. Trust the parachute. So don't trust in your goodness to save you on Judgment Day. Rather, transfer your trust from yourself to the Savior. And the moment you do that, you've got God's promise. He'll grant you everlasting life as a free gift. So let me read these verses for you. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And it is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. And I hope na pag-isipan niyong mabuti itong shiner ko sa inyo ngayon. And I pray that you will realize that your life is so important and you don't want to lose it because of your love for sin. Ulitin ko, we have to repent and trust the Lord Jesus Christ alone for our salvation. So lumapit tayo sa Panginoon ng may kapakumbabaan and trust the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. I appreciate you up until this point and I hope that someday the Bible or your conscience will drive you to the cross where you can find the everlasting life. Hindi na kami nakapunta sa Gargetti Church. Hindi na kagusto namin puntahan kasi sarado yung daan ngayon. So dahil sarado yung daan at hindi kaya ng kotse, ayaw kong i-risk yung sasakyan. So papalipad na lang ako dito sa baba. Titignan ko ang aabutan yung church. tawag dito sa lugar na to. The crying stone. The crying stone. <laughs> Yan, nakauwi na kami. Inagahan namin ng konti para abutan yung sunset view from our room. Sunset view? Medyo overexposed lang. Siguro dito makikita yan. Ayan. And I hope that you have been blessed from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. God bless.